Mr. Chairman, Excellency Ministers and Heads of Delegation, ITU Secretary General and elected officials, distinguished delegates, good afternoon. Allow me to begin by expressing our gratitude to the government and people of Romania for the excellent hospitality. We all feel at home and, I, and we had to squeeze in the Rwandan dance at the beginning of uh, today's session just because of how welcome we feel today. Yesterday at the Rwandan reception, I shared the ethos that have guided Rwanda's progress and concrete digital transformation programs that reflect those values. I hope you all remember them, but in case you don't, I intend to use them again so that you don't forget them. Thinking big, staying together, and accountability. Today, anchoring around the three same fundamental choices that Rwanda has had as a country, I'll share with you the priorities that we have of leaving no one behind. The first ones are around thinking big, which really guide our commitment to double broadband usage statistics to 70% of our population, developing a fit-for-purpose uh, regulation that enables innovation in the telecommunication industry, expanding fixed broadband uh, connectivity to 1.8 million households through various uh, innovative de de deployment models, and also under GIGA, we will ensure that all our schools, over 4,000 schools, uh, have access and are connected to high-speed, reliable, and affordable connectivity by 2024. We also intend to drive smartphone or smart device ownership to 90% of our population, as well as ensure that 60% of our adult population is digitally literate and 100% of our youth population is, adult, uh, is digitally literate. The second point of staying together is really around partnerships because that is what has brought us this far as a country. What has also brought us together as the ITU family is a shared interest and commitment towards developing the digital economy that benefits all humanity. The COVID-19 crisis has not only accelerated digital transformation, but has ignited disruption in all aspects of our lives. We've witnessed tremendous challenges and opportunities across all the industries, but to overcome them, we need to work together, we need to stay together, and Rwanda will play its part in bringing all partners on board. I want to share with you a quote from my president, who has highlighted the importance of the fourth industrial revolution, and I quote, if we can use this time together to, to look for ways to, ha to harness the fourth industrial revolution for everyone's benefit, based on inherent dignity and value for each person, then we will have really accomplished something useful." End of quote. And my last point is on accountability. With the WTDC that was held in June this year as a landmark event where we committed to connect the remaining 2.9 million billion people, the pace at which we've connected uh, the last uh, you know, 200 million is not enough. We need to double down on our efforts. Let me conclude by reiterating the candidature of Rwanda to the ITU Council and request for your votes for, us to be, for Rwanda to be re-elected to ITU Council. I thank you for your kind attention. Mutel Smith, I hope I pronounced it right. Thank you very much.